Hello. <coughs> uh, good afternoon. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, how to uh, resolve the issue that is uh, the data source does not support the server side paging. Actually, that types of exception exception occurs when your data uh, data bound control is actually bind with the data reader control because the SQL data reader control does not support the paging capabilities. So uh, here we have a, a grid view control and I want to bind that grid view control with the uh, um, SQL data reader control because the SQL data reader is a, also a, um, a data source control and various uh, data source control available uh, in ASP.NET so these are the uh, data set data table uh, and many more so uh, here uh, we will use SQL data reader that does not support the paging capabilities okay so um, first of all getting error uh, that uh, data source control does not uh, support uh, data paging so auto generated columns means false and use the two columns id and name similarly bind the grid view when your page is not post back so not page dot is post back then bind your grid view okay bind grid <coughs> generate method stub okay that's fine now bind uh, your grid view here by using the SQL connection command and uh, the data reader okay so let's to start and inherit or you can say import the namespaces SQL connection uh, is already discussed in previous video tutorials uh, that is available in system.data.sql client uh, command uh, SQL command is also available in same namespace system.data.sql client and oops system SQL connection use control dot uh, for importing the namespace uh, just after your cursor is move on uh, the class name SQL connection con equals to new SQL connection con dot connection string equals to configuration manager oops configuration manager dot uh, connection string that connection string is available in web dot config file configuration manager that configuration manager is available in system dot configuration namespace and to dot to string if you do not provide the connection string uh, that is available in web.config file then you get also and one exception that is uh, object reference not set for instance of object error so sql command cmd equals to new sql command command text select star from the table name the table name is employee cmd dot connection that is con sql data reader okay and that uh, data source control does not support the paging execute reader rd dot grid view one dot data source equals to rd here we have a data source control is uh, SQL data reader and data bind that's fine okay now the table name is employee and your connection string is available in web.config file okay that's fine now run your uh, page just adding allow paging attribute 
in your grid view control okay now right click on it because your control is bind with the SQL data reader and check it that allow paging is <coughs> support or not SQL data reader does not support the server side paging yeah the data source does not support server side paging okay that types of actions occurs because your data source that is reader is does not support uh, server side paging so use the data set as well and the data table also so here we have a two not support paging functionality okay so use data set and data adapter data set that is available in system dot data namespace ds equals to new data set and fill the data set by using the sql data adapter sql data adapter d equals to new sql data adapter Okay, now fill that with the command, associate with the command and fill da dot fill ds and now after bind your grid view with the ds that 